All right, here we go. This is the video for day, days uh, 49 and 50. So I didn't get a chance to make a video yesterday, but I'm just gonna recap what they did yesterday and then today. And we'll start with some of the stuff on the outside here. So the I, last time I talked about the rhino roof material that they um, put up there and how they got all that done. And it's a really good thing that they did that because that very night, um, it just, it rained all night and it's been getting colder. You can even see we got some snow flurries coming down right now, but um, it got a lot colder and it started raining that night. It rained all night and almost all the next day. So um, yeah, it was really important to have that done um, and they did a good job with the tarps and stuff in addition. So that was important. And then uh, what else? So then the next day, um, after it rained all night and all day, the next day it was pretty much sunny, so it got a chance to kind of dry out, and then it didn't get till freezing until the end of the that next evening. So, uh, but yeah, the last two days we've had freezing temperatures, and so yeah, they've got um, almost all the sheathing done on the outside, and then a bunch of the house wrap that you can see right here. So this goes pretty much all the way around. You can see all the sheathing on the inside and more house wrap everywhere so i do have some questions about the strategy for framing in these windows um, i've seen lots of different people have different suggestions for where you should how you should make the cuts around the window and how you should seal it and the tape that you should use and all that kind of stuff and somebody was even saying don't put um these nails or uh, fasteners um, so close to the edge um, I've seen a lot of people say that you shouldn't have house wrap over the bottom and the top of the window some people are put still putting on the side some people aren't so that's gonna be interesting detail um, I'm interested in the detail that we're gonna do whatever they're gonna do on the bottom just for I mean one reason is mostly just bug sealing but you know air and vapor barrier and all that on the bottom as well um, so I'll be in, interested in all those details. Um, looks like they cut this off or unscrewed it or something. Um, they probably just cut it so they got the hose bib out of there. Um, I was going to move that anyway, so that's there. And yeah, there's a lot more stuff happening in here. So you can see now this is the temp wall and the old wall that used to be. But you can see the concrete where it used to be straight along here that is completely gone so that got demoed out um, we got I don't know if this is the final iteration of the stud pack here for this one and over here as well but that's that's in place those walls and then um, I think eventually we're gonna get rid of where this 2x6 header is and we're just gonna have maybe that 2x6 is gonna be there for I don't know. We're, I think we're going to cut some of this out to give us more ceiling height, but then we might also have to add a little bit um, as a like a chase or a pathway to run electrical because this header is basically right above our island. So that's going to be there. Um, they cut most of the house wrap, but this part is still flopping around like crazy, making a lot of noise. Um, and then a lot more interior framing. Um, and so the office here is framed in and then the bedroom is framed in they got these mechanical chases here big mechanical chase over here um, I'm thinking we're, somewhere we're gonna have a water spigot hose bib on the outside of this wall and so it might pop into that mechanical chase somewhere or something um, and then this is the bathroom um, and there's a, that's that screw sticking up. I just stub, I hit my foot on that. Um, some Tyvek tape there. So then this is the bedroom. They were out here looking at where to put the, looks like that's the mark for where to put the wall for the closet. So then this part will be the bedroom. I believe this beam is going to be exposed. I don't know if it's going to be cleaned up or have some kind of a decorative feature added on it or what we're gonna do there but yeah this is the uh, 
This is this area. And I think that's the main stuff up here. And then, very exciting, we have stairs and we have a basement. So let me grab this other flashlight. Go down to the basement. So stairs, um, I don't think these are the final treads. I think they just slap these on here for now. Um, we're gonna add one more layer of three quarter inch uh, to this to give us the proper step height everywhere along the path here because at some point I'm planning to add a subfloor on top of this concrete. So by making this slightly higher, um, that'll make all the steps even. And here it is, we have a basement. So uh, today was the first day I even got down into the basement um, since the concrete's been poured. So we got our two ginormous egress windows here. Um, yeah, stair framing. This is that detail I was saying about um, laying these two by fours, treated two by fours sideways so drywall can go right up there and then we're really only using up two inches on the side of that. And then this section over here is gonna be the bedroom. I think it's supposed to start right about here. Maybe they even marked it for that. So this is kind of a little wall that just kind of makes this hallway go in, but then basically where I'm standing, all this will be kind of open hangout space. And then this direction will be the bedroom area. And then you can see we got bathroom here, and this will be a hallway, so there'll be eventually be a wall right along this path. And then that room over there in the back is the mechanical room. And then this is like the extra doorway that I asked them to do instead of just doing 16 inch on center, just frame this out a little bit extra. Um, so we could put a door there, probably might, I don't know what we'll do, but you'll have to duck to get in here. But once you do, I'm planning to put underneath the stairs, um, basically IT equipment. So, um, router, modem, uh, who knows, maybe a Synology someday, maybe some kind of server someday, extra PCs. Um, all that kind of stuff, and I, you know, we'll come up with something cool to do for these down here. Maybe a secret door, or um, you know, I've seen some people put in sliding drawers where you can pull out and access things pretty easily. So that's cool. And then this is mechanical room. This uh, concrete floor, you probably can't see it in the video. It is really sloped down quite a bit here. It's even sloped down over in the bathroom area. Um, but I'm assuming that's all fine. And once we the shower comes in there. It'll be fine, um, but yeah, I'm thinking that eventually on this back wall here above the sump pump and ejector pit, probably put some kind of a workbench here. There's tons of leftover wood from this, so should be able to do that. Um, and then a furnace is gonna go on the left here, and then a, so the water heater is gonna go in between the furnace and the sump pump. So that's the basement tour. And yeah, oh, um, up here you can see they just add, they added these boards across the top. Um, they're just to add some rigid, rigidity, I guess. Um, there's a special term for it, but I don't remember what it is. And yeah, so again, open web floor trusses, love it. Ceiling height, love it. I haven't grabbed a tape measure to measure it, but it's good. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Oh, I'm gonna have to have come up with some kind of detail to get my Ethernet into this under the stairs uh, because the the stairs are like basically in the bathroom. So I'm thinking maybe if the if the Ethernet pops out of that tube, that uh, mechanical. Uh, let's see here. What is that PVC pipe? Um, for, that's there for the plumbing. Then we could also pop some ethernet through there and then maybe run them up into the truss, across the truss, and maybe pop a hole in the back of this OSB and then down under the stairs and to some IT equipment there. So anyways, that's the basement tour. Um, but it's exciting. All right, that's it. Subscribe.